Hey everybody, Brandon, Kyle Calling Academy. Today I'm going to do uh, just a short little video on how to do puff distress on diaphragms. I put a video out uh, not uh, last week, I think it was, something like that. Um, puff distress on a on an open read, and I did that video uh, for somebody a while back, and just happened to find it. So I thought I'd put it out there for everybody to see. But today I'm going to do one on a diaphragm. Um, for like mouth formations and everything, or, or uh, like words that you're trying to say to kind of get that sound, you're what I use and what I think a lot of people use is the words either wheat or peat. Um, those kind of that mouth formation kind of gets you the right sound that you want. You can use one. Or the other you can combine them that's kind of how I do it it changes they each have their own like little pitch um, so I combine them kind of together in there and then once you get that down try and growl from your in your throat a little growl to get that um, kind of like a, a growling in the call a little bit more uh, raspiness so with that I'll use the uh, uh, the Coyote Creek, or uh, which is now Pinoy Piper, the Young Blood, or the Yellow Belly Howler, they are probably my two favorite diaphragms that I. They're, they're probably the ones I use the most as far as pup distress, howling, things like that. They're about my favorite ones. So, with that, um, I'm sure most of you know the the diaphragm, the opening of the horseshoe goes to the front of your mouth. And everybody's going to be a little different as far as where you place that in your mouth, as far as how far forward, how far backwards, how how uh, the roof of your mouth is going to kind of determine where that needs to be to get that sealed off so you're not losing air pressure or anything like that. So you put the call in your mouth and then if you're just starting out, just try and get some sounds, whether you're doing distress, pup distress, howling, whatever, you just want to get a sound and get used to that. If you're first starting, that vibration on the latex will kind of tickle your tongue a little bit. And then also a lot of people have a gag reflex on it. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. But just trying to get a sound, um, this is kind of the sound that I want to get or to start out with for doing pup distress. And doing this, I'll be saying wheat this time. say Pete okay now as as you get the sounds kind of going change like kind of quiver your voice a little bit your or, uh, your vocal cords kind of quiver them a little bit um, you really want to get emotion put into it now like it, it's it's just like if you were to step on your dog's tail or um, if you've ever had puppies, when they get scared or, you, you know, somebody, the, the bigger dog knocks them over or something, kind of that, that real whininess, that's kind of what you want to get into that. So once you get the sounds figured out, the basic of the sound, then start putting a little bit more emotion into it by quivering your vocal cords, your diaphragm, um, going faster, slower, um, more air, less air. So in the end, you're kind of wanting something sort of like this. Just something, you got to get a little bit of motion in there. And like I say, on, on all your hand calling, it you have to have emotion into it to get the most effectiveness out of it. You know, you, you could sound the best and everything else, but if there's no emotion in it, which kind of goes hand in hand on how you sound, but if if you don't have any emotion in it, it's not gonna sound as realistic. And like towards the end of mine, and kind of in the middle when you hear that real sharp, arr, 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 when I do that, 
all that is is I'm just blowing still saying wheat or peat but I'm trying to I'm blowing about as much air fast and sharp as I can across those reeds to get that real sharp and then as it comes off you're just kind of letting your tongue pressure off to get that lower oh okay and then <clears throat> once you get that going and you you want to put some growl into it and all you're doing is just in your in your throat that's it it's just a just something like that just a little bit of growling in there but to start out with just kind of play with it um everybody's everybody's going to be a little different as far as what word or mouth formation you want to get the best sound for you what you like but a good starter is like wheat or peat it, it it's that's kind of what i found to be the best and then i'll combine the two in there um once start out with one or the other kind of combine them together go into the other back and forth changing the cadence your pitch with your tongue pressure things like that um but everybody's a little different and you're just going to have to figure out what works better for you, what gets you the sound that you want out of it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll let you hear it on this other diaphragm. This, that, the first one was the young blood. This will be the yellow belly. Um, it's just a little bit different, not as high pitched. Of course, this one's uh, brand new. I just took it out of the package. So it's the reeds aren't stretched out so it's a little bit higher pitch sharper this is an older yellow belly it's a little stretched out it's not quite as high pitch just something like that that's that's it you don't have to get too fancy anything like that just uh Figure out what reads, what stretch on the on the the latex, what read fits and works for you to get the sounds that you want. They're all different. Um, all the all the diaphragms have a different stretch on the the reads. You can take. You can even do it with a distress um, distress diaphragm. Will also work. Here's one. Um, this is the deadly double. It'll still work. It's just a little bit different. Um, with the cuts in the distressed diaphragm, sometimes you can get a little more rasp or kind of growliness out of it. Um, so that kind of run through run through a little bit of that for you hope you pick something up out of it if you have any questions shoot me a message um don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and be looking for another podcast i'm hoping to be able to get one recorded today and hopefully it's a good one hopefully you guys like it enjoy keep an eye out i'm going to try and do a little bit more videos in the field and in here in the studio um that i've been working on i kind of getting it cleaned up it's turning out all right but keep an eye out for videos things to come in the future trying to do a little bit more get you guys started i'll be doing a kind of a intro to howling i guess to start off get the sounds how to get those to kind of get started on if you want to start howling on a diaphragm so Thanks for all the support, guys. Take care.